So I want to share with you a story, more specifically my story volunteering at a kids camp called the YMCA camp. So when I first was going into this camp, my expectations were simple. I would volunteer at this camp with my friend, I would play with the kids, and then just come back maybe feeling the reward of volunteering. But little did I know then that this camp and the story of this one girl growing up with a single parent and being separated from her brother at such a young age would have such a big effect on me and completely change my experience at this camp. Okay, but let me back up a little because I want to try an experiment. I want you all to close your eyes. Yes, close your eyes. And um, just imagine a friend, a family member, or maybe even your favorite celebrity, and just imagine them seeing just imagine them seeing them struggling or seeing them looking really upset. Okay, now put out your hands. And what if someone granted you one wish to possess anything in your hands right now that you can offer to that person? What would you wish for? Okay, now open your eyes. What if I told you that the best thing that you could wish for is nothing concrete? Because the best thing that we could really do is to just simply lend a hand, which is abstract but so real because we really need to understand a person better before we get to help them. Which brings me to my point on empathy. Now, empathy is a lot different from sympathy because sympathy really only concerns your plight towards another person's struggles. But empathy is more about showing compassion and being able to think in someone else's perspective and it's also about being comfortable sharing your own personal thoughts or stories. So you may be wondering, how does this connect to my experience at the YMCA camp? Well, it was actually that YMCA camp that really allowed me to realize why we choose to empathize and what happens when we empathize. Now, because I feel like the idea of showing compassion or thinking in someone else's shoes has been over repeated sometimes that it almost becomes a cliche that we disregard what it really means to empathize and what really happens when we try to think in someone else's perspective so going back to my story with the camp um when i first went into this camp i was struggling to get along with the kids um they would be kind of shy to talk to me and sometimes they wouldn't listen to the camp counselor um, but then as the week progressed, I was getting a lot used to talking to them. I knew how to approach them, and I felt that the kids were getting used to me. And so I was having a good time with these kids, and I was thinking this is really great because I'm fulfilling my job as a camp counselor. But then one day, this girl comes up to me. I was sitting outside, and this girl comes up to me with a paper and pencil in her hands. And she asks me, can you draw something for me? And I tell her, sure. What do you want me to draw? And she says, a koala. <laughs> so I'm kind of just sitting there on the bench. I'm drawing this koala. She's looking at me, just drawing. So I try to start small talk. And I ask her things like, are you enjoying the camp? And she responds, asking me questions like, when is your birthday? Or um, do you have any siblings? So then I tell her, I have an older brother. Do you have any siblings? And then she says, I have a younger brother, but I don't live with him anymore. And I ask her, why is that? And she says, I don't live with him anymore because I was separated when my parents divorced. Now, at that time, I really didn't know what to tell her. I was just in a bit of shock. So when I finished drawing this koala, uh, she seemed really happy with the drawing. She thanked me for the drawing, and she went on to play with her friends. But later that day, I kept thinking about what the girl had told me, and it just made me so upset because there was nothing that she or I can do to really change what was going on. But something else that I realized was that how touched I felt when that girl felt close enough to me to share such a personal story. And I was thinking about what I did to build in that trust. Now, this was something that I came to reflect on after this camp. But when I first went into this camp, I knew what I was volunteering for. This YMCA camp was offered to um, kids who were not as financially supported. 
And so I knew that before volunteering. But it was after that I chose to volunteer that I chose to actually know these kids more personally that I realized that it was because I knew I knew them more personally. And the story of this girl going of this girl being separated of her brother had such a big impact on me. And so that was when I realized the whole effect of empathy, which is not really just understanding what another person is going through, but also sharing the same kind of thoughts or being able to feel for them. And so the YMCA camp was not the only time I empathized. And in November, I went to Cambodia um, with some of my friends to help build schools there. Um, so this experience, again, was a great experience for me because I actually got to know the people there personally. And I knew what kind of uh, conditions they were living in. And so this experience was a lot more rewarding rather than if I was to simply blindly kind of donate all the way from Japan. Now, I knew how I felt on this trip, but I was wondering if my friends felt the same way. So then I asked them, what were your expectations when you first went into, um, were, before going to Cambodia? And they said things like, to be honest, I was a little scared. And that makes sense because after all, Cambodia is a less economically developed country and you really don't know what to expect. But then I asked them, how did you feel, or what are your thoughts about Cambodia after the trip? And they said things like, all the kids there were so fun to be with or that they want to go again. So I realized that it wasn't just me that felt the reward really came and really, really came in interacting with, with the people there and knowing the people there, which was um, the greatest reward from this trip. But as a teenager, I realized that I may be lacking empathy. Um, so Ugo Uche, he is a therapeutic counselor down, um, based in Fountain Springs Academy. Um, and he has published many articles on the, idea of, on the idea of empathy. And he says, the prefrontal cortex is the last to develop because it allows the average person to focus on self-mastery before becoming fully conscientious about the welfare of their respective communities. So basically, he is saying that we try to understand ourselves before we can understand anyone else, which is true. But if we choose to develop empathy as a skill, and if we choose to interact with people more, then we can really improve in our skills to build relationships with other people. So what I hope you take away from my talk is to understand how we empathize, which really just comes in interacting with another person. But I also want you to know, notice, or what I also want you to take away from my talk is to know how fulfilling it is for yourself when you choose to help others, when you choose to empathize. Um, because I feel that we have this misconception that empathy is supposed to make you is really just supposed to make you feel sentimental without any discernment. So that's not true. So going back to my experience at the YMCA, I was thinking about what I could give back to the kids or even the kids at Cambodia. And this talk was part of what I choose what I can do for, for them. Because if I can encourage more people to empathize more, then we can all feel the reward of involving in these voluntary activities. Um, so take it from me when I tell you that empathizing is equally, and if not even more rewarding for yourself than it is for the other person. Thank you very much.